that tone, it's some real money in the room. While you were in Atlanta, and I don't want to be Bansky, so if I'm going too far, let me know. But while you were in Atlanta, um, you did meet at Glizzy. Yeah, I met at Glizzy in Atlanta with Shy Glizzy. Okay. Um, well, let, let's take it from the top. Um, how, how did that relationship come about with Shy Glizzy? Uh, for, I guess for Jose Guapo, for real. Mm -hmm. Jose Guapo and Shy always been tight. I don't know what, how they was tight with. Jose Guapo used to down there live with us, okay? You know what I'm saying? He really showed me how to rap it, taught me like a few little things about rap that kind of put me in the game, you feel me? You used to live with who? He used to live with me a long way. Okay. He used to live in the lobby. All the things that talk about the lobby and all that damage, they all used to be at, used to live at 2424, man, Silver Road. Who, who would be all of those guys? Offset lived in for a second while the studio was f uh, Rich the Kid used to be over there all the time. Uh, Guapo, uh, Rich I'll be quiet, never lived there. Used to be there every day. Slime used to live with us down there. It was just a spot. Duke lived there. Gunner used to stay there all the time. Nietzsche used to live there down there. Pablo Juan had a time when he was living with us. Uh, shout out to Spud. Be a spud ball, Pablo Wide did uh, from the West End, man. And, uh, like, I mean, a lot of Atlanta history used to be right there on the couch. I could keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep I know I, I know I missed a couple days. Yeah. It's, it's late, but yeah, I that's never a lot did of could keep that's going. A lot of, that's Mike, Mike, cash out, used to be over there. Who else? Uh, yeah. Man, I'm talking about this whole Atlanta culture, even to. to Losi and all live from back then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, rappers that are letter J Muddy, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the is a part of that, that lobby era. He said he robbed you, you know what I'm saying? And I just, you know, while you're on Real Tune TV, I do want to give you the opportunity to, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what was going on, like, but you, you know, to man, me, from what I've seen, you big brick. shit you know for a rich nigga, man. Fuck is the nigga talking about? What that nigga does say? Niggas get tried. That nigga didn't try me, though. That nigga said, I ain't got shit for a rich nigga, man. I ain't met a nigga yet. How you robbed me for two ounces, bro? I ain't opened up a whole pack since 94. Right. Uh, nah, I ain't opened up a whole pack since, man. Come on, cuz. You lied, my nigga. You came and shot me, man. You ever pulled up on me, boy, I would have laughed at you. You would have asked me to buy two ounces. Nigga, who the fuck? Who are you talking to? You got the wrong way. My brother and them on the couch, they got the breakdown. Nigga, fuck what you talking about? Uh, I laugh me when you got, you know what I'm saying? Well, he put rubber bands on it, and that's just a nickel with dubs. You get what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, I'm coming. Right. Um, um, why, why would he lie on you, though? Like, why would, why would he lie? Because he's starting the image on the internet. Like, and me and him never had a problem ever in life. Oh, my, my, so y'all were cool? Yeah, like, yeah, I I guess he know that I, because we're cool through Shy. Him and Shy don't get along, so I guess he didn't want to come to L.A. to go to No Jumper to do the interview because he thought I was going to light him up. That's what I thought. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I did see. Let's start there. Let's, well, let's stay there. Yeah. Let's, feel me? let's stay there. Hold on. So um, I believe Shy Glizzy was invited to No Jumper to do the interview. Yeah. And he declined it. Yeah. What were your thoughts on the decline? That was, my thoughts were that, all right, because he said there's too many gang members up there. I'm like, bro, you cool with the gang members that's up there. I'm under, under at this point, I'm thinking we straight. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, you cool with all the niggas that's up here, so what the f is you? Yeah, I'm like, oh, because of shy. Like, I ain't getting them. Y'all niggas is brothers. Like, I met y'all together. That's like 30 rest in peace, my 30 Glizzy, like, if him and Shy was getting into it, like, I ain't finna get in the middle of that shit. Like, if I see you, I'm gonna you down. Of course, I met Shy first, so I, I'm kicking it with Shy. I ain't gonna just mix it so you have our locations. Yeah, definitely, if I see you, I'm gonna dap you down too. What y'all got going on? That's some DC. We in LA or wherever we at, we at it on that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm with Shy Glizzy and Young Gleesh. I had Young Gleesh. 
pull up Obi one day and I had Shy come before him at the show in DZ. And I told Gleach, like, you got to get up out of here for that broke up. I want y'all to run into each other. Do that for me. You know I love you. I can't kick it with you all this morning. Like, come for the, you know what I mean? How I broke before me. Like, just my shit. I'm like, hey, bro. Me and Cuz got a song together. So we go before our song. Like, it's love. You went shot, was he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, send me that. You can't, you know. It's called Forbes. It's me, Shy, Glizzy, and Kid Ink. Yeah. It's called Forbes. Yeah, I said it to you, though. That shit pretty, pretty old right before I went to jail. I dropped that and I dropped some shit with me, Lil Reese, Dirk, and Kid Ink around the same time. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.